Also tonight, the demand is on the rise at some East Dayton food pantries. It's been four months since flames destroyed the food for less grocery store. New at 11, Kristen Escal tells us about the food bank's ongoing relief efforts. Mark and Brooke, today more than 100 families stopped by the mobile food pantry in the neighborhood hosted by the Dayton Food Bank. The food bank is still helping neighborhood food pantries stay stocked as they're distributing more food. The pile of rubble reduced in size at the former site of Food for Less. But what hasn't gotten smaller, neighbors need for groceries. I haven't been able to do the go to the food pantries because I can't stand in the line for very long. Ruth Gifford recently had surgery on her foot and now has her sister drive her to a different supermarket. The Food for Less was right next to her house. Not being able to have that convenience has been difficult. According to officials with the Dayton Food Bank, the demand at East Dayton Food Pantries has been constantly increasing in the neighborhood since the fire. They say food pantries in the area have seen a nearly 30% increase in families in January compared to that time last year. When you have a local grocery store right in your own backyard, you don't have to worry about making sure that you pay for both your transportation and for your food because you don't have to worry so much about transportation costs. Laura Davenport says the food bank is on track to distribute more than 13 million pounds of food this year, which would be up from 11 million last year. But she says the food bank can't do it alone. We see a lot less donations come in during this February, March, and April. So we need people to give donations so that we're able to keep our shelves stocked so that may, we can make sure that people have food. For now, neighbors say they hope local food pantries will be able to keep up with the demand. The Dayton Food Bank says it will continue hosting its mobile food pantry once a month in the neighborhood, in addition to helping local food pantries. If you'd like to support the food bank, click on the story on our website, WDTN.com. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.